Hey guys, uh, it's Art again. Uh, here's part two of my 68 uh, Plexi uh, Super Elite uh, clone. Um, finished already, and uh, I haven't decided which power tubes I want to use. Uh, but because it is a 68 and it's a 80 Van Halen type amp, um, I'm going to use some 68.7s from uh, Electro Harmonic, which are true. Uh, uh, tetro type power tubes as opposed to pentode uh, but we'll go over that later uh, just real quick <clears throat> here's uh, the big thing with the super lead is that it has a split cathode as opposed to shared cathode like a bass amp or a JTM45 um, this amp here has a uh, 68.68 bypass or you know a cathode cap here with a 2.7 resistor, 2.7K. It has your uh, conventional 250 microfarad with the 820 ohm resistor. Uh, the same thing here, there's another 0 0.68, 160 volt uh, cathode resistor here in V2. Uh, everything else is the same, uh, although my bypass cap for my uh, bright channel here at the mixers. Uh, I thought I had some 560, but I couldn't find them, so I used a uh, 450 picoferret uh, made by Erie. And over here on my at my um, tone stack, I used a 33k resistor with a 500 picoferret uh, resistor here for the I'm sorry, a capacitor for the tone stack. Um, the resistors that you see here are uh, are new. They're Allen Bradley, and there you have the 68k here too and the 470 K uh, resistor these two uh, resistors here are, are new too. they're 100 K resistors uh, these are also new Allen Bradley 820 and 100 K and again 33 K my coupled coupling caps here are uh, 0 0.022 microfarad 0 0.022 uh, these are mini watts Except for this one, this one here. Well, this one is a it's a mustard type cap, but this one is a 0 0.0022 microfarad, uh, as the stock original Super Elite from that era came with. Uh, this is a 33 microfarad uh, a preamp uh, filter. It has a one. Uh, it has one 10k resistor running across this way, and then you have a 10k resistor here. I have another 0 0.0 22 microfarad capacitor here and here's my uh, my phase inverter section which is a uh, 1 meg 470 ohm 1 meg and then 10k here at the tail then you also have the 0.1 microfarad capacitor and then here for the phase inverter I have um, the 0 0.022 UF microfarad Capacitors and again, these are all of these are mini watt. Uh, this is 22, 220, excuse me, 220k for the for the bias. You have 100k and 82k for uh, for the plates for the uh, V3. And down here you have a, a dog bone type capacitor at 47 picofarad. Uh, this amp came with the 47k resistor here at the negative feedback section. And uh, you, you would normally find here at the drop resistors um, a 10K, which this is a 10K, and then you'll find an 8.2K or sometimes 10K. But because I had to drop the, the voltage coming this way towards the zero loss effects loop, I believe this is a 5.6K resistor and uh, or somewhere in that area. I can't remember. It's probably a... Uh, 4.6 somewhere over there uh, somewhere in that uh, type of value uh, I can't see I don't have my glasses right now and then I added another resistor here so I could drop the voltage down and check here so I won't fry any of these components but it's done correctly I just don't have all the all the facts of it right now I apologize uh, these are uh, some Sprague uh, capacitors here for the bias or 10 microfarad at 160 volts these are uh, vintage uh, NOS type capacitors my bias resistor is a 47k and this drop-in resistor here is a 27k 
Uh, here's a 15k resistor, and this is a uh, a diode resistor here that's rated at 400 volts at I believe one amp, and it's a top hat type uh, diode. Uh, down here, uh, if you could just see it, I have a um, 5,000 picofarad Erie capacitor for volume one, which is the bright channel or the brightness channel they call it. Uh, here, I had to inter break the 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 wire that came here, went from here to here, but because I added an effects loop, I had to break the signal, and I have one wire here. In the out here so it's in here out here and then you can, if you see here it says in and out so it, it works fine here for the power section I have 33 excuse me 33 microfarad capacitor and these two sections here and then these are 100 UF um, microfarad capacitors um, move this a little bit uh, the diodes here uh, give me one second Ooh, the diodes here are um, are the 14007, which are, I believe they're rated at 900 volts or 800 volts. Um, diodes here. Uh, I think I went over my, my uh, screen resistors. These are 1K 5 watt. Um, I can't remember the brand. I probably said it on the first video. I apologize. And uh, as far as the stop resistors, some people will put in the visual ones, and I, do, I don't do that for this type of amp because this amp came with with the, a, sh a shared they, re they shared one resistor from here to here and I'm using a 1.5k which makes the amp a little smoother to, in my opinion um, all the all the, the the potentiometers are are the jeez um, I forgot the name of them I'm sorry these are um Alpha pots. These are alpha pot type of, of potentiometers. Here's your mustard for your uh, presence control. And uh, the the switches I used were from uh, I think they're car Carling type uh, switches. And um, and that's it. Uh, I'm gonna update this real quick and put a uh, put it in the box and then I can show you guys the tubes.